On the night of October 7, an attack was made on the sea oil terminal in Feodosia, Crimea. As a result of the strike by Ukrainian drones, an explosion and a strong fire occurred in the terminal. The Ukrainian headquarters confirmed the information and took responsibility. It is said that there were no victims during the incident. The so-called authorities confirmed the incident but claimed it was a fire. Later, the telegram channel ASTRA clarified that the oil depot on fire in Feodosia is the joint stock company Marine Oil Terminal, which drones had previously targeted. In March 2024, four drones struck the depot, damaging the main fuel pipeline and causing a fire. Workers were evacuated then, and it took an hour and a half to extinguish the blaze. The terminal in Feodosia is considered the largest terminal in Crimea and plays a major role in supplying fuel to the Russian military. There are only two such terminals on the peninsula, one in Sevastopol. Что-то взрывается. Взрывы попали все-таки в нефтебазу. Капец. Пожарище там. Вот уроды, а. Такие взрывы попали все-таки в нефтебазу. Пожалуйста, там. On October the 4th, the Russian kamikaze drone Shahed flew into Belarus and exploded near the Mozir oil refinery. The head of the Center for Countering Disinformation under the Security Council of Ukraine, Andriy Kovalenko, reported this. The Belarusian resource Belaruski Gayon reported about another incident with Shahed. According to it, the settlement of Kalinkovichi was shaken by a powerful explosion. The drone first flew into the territory of Ukraine, after which it crossed the Belarusian border and flew about 40 kilometers before being eliminated. In Kalinkovichi, a kamikaze drone of the Shahed type exploded. It is unknown whether it detonated or was shot down by air defense forces, the Belarusian channel wrote. Kovalenko reported that the Russian armed forces target could have been the Mozir oil refinery, one of the largest oil refineries in Belarus. The Russians are trying to carry out a provocation near the Mozir oil refinery in order to blame Ukraine and demand action from Lukashenko, Kovalenko wrote. Both the Kremlin and Minsk are silent about the explosion of Shahed. However, against the backdrop of the current events, the head of the Russian FSB accused NATO of planning to attack Belarus and threatened aggression against the Baltic countries and Moldova. Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko also made an urgent statement. He called on the Ukrainian authorities to urgently negotiate peace with Moscow and even promised assistance in post-war reconstruction. Experts say that the Shaheds flying to Belarus are not an accident. Putin is sending Lukashenko a warning. Popular telegram channel Siev of Socrates drew attention to the fact that Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko has recently begun to waver on the issue of Ukraine. He makes statements that contradict the general line of the Putin regime. For the Kremlin, such rhetoric is absolutely unacceptable. Belarus, as an instrument of warfare, is also assigned a certain role in the strategy of Russia. 
There, they are very suspicious of the current rhetoric of Minsk, which contains at least three seditious moments. We are talking about a peaceful Belarus, i.e. a refusal to be involved in Russian military adventures. Then Lukashenko admits the presence of adequacy in the actions of the Ukrainian leadership. Finally, Putin's most painful point is touched. He is not eternal either. He must prepare for departure. In the Russian Federation, they immediately made the appropriate conclusions about the doublethink of the Belarusian leadership and began to urgently take measures to urgently draw the de facto semi-occupied satellite into the orbit of Russian military algorithms. The resource writes, it is emphasized that the Kremlin really does not like the vacillations of the Lukashenko in connection with which they began to put intense pressure on Belarus, including through the Shaheds.